I'm Animus Peach and welcome back to MoGraph Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this motion graphic morph in DaVinci Resolve. In order to start off, what we're going to do is grab a fusion composition from our effects library and put it onto our timeline and we're going to go into fusion. Once we're in fusion, we're going to add our text or our shapes. So I'm just going to do two text nodes. So I'm just going to grab my text like this, let's view it, and I'm just going to put Peach. Right, then I'm just going to copy this node and paste it. And then I'm going to add a word that is similar in size so the morph will look clean. So text works. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to hit shift space and we're at a dissolve node just like that and then we want the first word is going to be on the yellow input so let's just put peach there and then on the second input it's going to go on the green input let's do that right there and so we have this dissolve node and so basically what it does is that it switches between the words just by cross fading them together so we're just going to have a start at zero let's do like that next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a blur node shift space type in blur Let's add it to our node graph like this. And then the last thing we're gonna add is a bitmap. So shift space and then bitmap. And this is gonna go into the image part. All right, now that we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start keyframing. I'm gonna go to the dissolve node. I'm gonna keyframe it from zero at the beginning and then at the end, it is going to be at one, just like that. And then on the blur node, what we're gonna do is we are going to keyframe it and put the blur down to zero. In the middle we're gonna put it to either five or six or something that looks good let's have to be those exact values even three is fine and then we're gonna go to the end of the composition and then we're gonna keep it back to zero next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our bitmap and then we're gonna put these values lower so basically what the bitmap is doing is if we if we look at what we have right now it still cross fades into this little thing that we have here Basically what our bitmap is doing is it's taking whatever alpha values is there and it's choosing whether it's going to be 100% visible or if it's going to be not visible at all. And so we can have only a certain part showing and then it should be solid. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to do 0.485, I think that's fine. And then we're going to do like 0.52 and now we have something like that. And you can see that you have the morph like this. That's all right. Maybe I'll make the blur more intense, something like that. That's not looking too bad. We want to add it to have a color to it and put this bitmap into a background or the, at the mask part and then put the background to the media out or whatever we're using. And then we could change it, change it to whatever color we want. And that's basically the fundamental of how to morph text. Maybe I'll even change it to something that's more bold. But yeah, something like that. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what you should do in the future, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMB Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you would like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.